friends, Perilous3D here back for another episode of The Loud Cloud. Our server has grown once again. We have a Kiwi joining us, CNC Kiwi that is, who has joined us. And now our four player server is maxed out officially. So all you people that wanted to get on, who is basically no one, you're out of luck. No. Uh, if anybody out there wants to join the server, by all means, we can always upgrade the server. The more, the merrier. So, if you're watching this and you enjoy what you see, my friends, please join us. We would love to have you. But let me show you what we've done. The last couple of episodes have been more update episodes than anything, but that's because we've got a lot of things that we're working on and a lot of stuff to share. So, as you can see here, I have transformed. The cows are as loud as ever. I have transformed um, the place here into a village storehouse so that it can still be used and I've sorted everything and encouraged everyone to please <laughs> keep it organized. It's the OCD and me kicking in. So let's see what else these guys have been up to. I have been working hard, I think I showed you guys the tower over there already. I've been working hard on uh, this castle here attached it to my little base over there. Just the makings of a small castle. So it's built kind of tall, but you know, it does a job. And I'll show you the inside real quick and then we'll go have a look and see what everybody else is up to. I don't think uh, Blue is on, but there's one of my dogs. I haven't named him yet, but uh, there he is. I've got another one here as well. This just leads back to the storehouse. Got another dog around here somewhere, probably in my former little cabin base. But uh, I'm still building it out. I'm going to add some windows here, which is, I know, is not exactly um, castle like to have windows, but you know, it does add a little je ne sais quoi. But uh, here's my other dog. I'll name them eventually and give them colors of their own. Maybe Batman and Robin will make uh, a return. Who knows? and uh, my small stash of goodies. So, and there's the map as well, which probably will need to be updated here. Let's have a look. See if anything has really changed on the map here. We've done a lot of things. Um, we've gone far. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Minecraft inner Mr. Stormont is definitely on the move and expanding quickly. I plan on uh, making, before the next episode, I plan on getting heavily involved, actually, in making a, um, a farm of my own. And I plan to do that right here, in this little area. Make a little farmhouse and flatten all this out and uh, make a barn, all that good stuff. So yeah, things are moving along very quickly, my friends. It won't be long before we're all settled up here. See, I'm not quite done um, this top part here, and I plan on most likely adding a couple more towers there. But yeah, it won't be long before we are moving on to bigger and better things and not just building. I mean, we're always going to be building and expanding on our village here, but uh, we are short on supplies, namely um, blaze rods, nether stuff. Of course, you know, a trip to the end and, and beating the dragon, of course, would help quite a bit. And if we're lucky enough, maybe one of those Ender Village things and the ship. Who knows? But there you can see Minecrafteners. Um, I'm going to just call them Stormont from now on. There you see Stormont's little village, which is shaping up quite nicely. I, I really like it. Um, we've shown it off already, but maybe I'll have another gander. Uh, I don't have a horse yet, which would make things so much better. Um, Stormont got lucky and he got one from fishing of all things. I've never fished up a saddle, but then again, I'm not that lu that lucky when it comes to things like that. I usually have to find them in uh, chests, so maybe that's what I'll do as well. I did go on an adventure um, out into the ocean, and I thought I went far. In one direction for maybe 5-10 minutes, and I hit uh, something. Actually, I hit uh, an area with dark wood, which is where I got that stuff from. But Mr. Minecraftener Stormont has actually gone all the way around this thing. And he's discovered that it's actually one giant lake. And it's actually not an ocean. So we are um, all around this, this huge lake. 
and who knows what else is out there. Um, we found some swampland so far. We found um, some mesa, I think it was, or a couple of other biomes anyway. No jungle yet that I know of, but it's around here somewhere. Actually, no, I think Blue did find some jungle, so... We are moving along very, very quickly. Um, I started building out the nether base a little bit more. It's all cobblestone now. Otherwise, I don't think there's much else to report. Let's go have a look and see what Blue is up to. I really want to get rid of those cows because I'm sick of hearing them mooing. No offense, cows, but, you know, you're freaking annoying. Let's see what uh, Blue got up to here in his little cave. Seems like he, he's updated things more and more as, as time goes here. I like those ceilings. Very cool. Oh yeah, and he added the anvil room. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. See, it looks good. Looks good, Blue. I like that. Keep going with, with this idea. He wasn't sure what to put in, in these rooms here, but, you know, don't rush it. With, with time, it'll come. You'll, you'll think of stuff. And if it, if it has to be useful, well, this could actually just keep going and, and going. And, hell, you could go all the way down to the bedrock if you really wanted to. But uh, so far, what he's done here is very impressive. Very nice. Oh, I like this. Didn't notice this at first. Very cool. Very stylish, I say. So, uh, as the googlies are coming out, I am heading out to see Stormont. I don't think I have any other updates besides the... Oh, actually, I do have one more update that I can show you on the way by. So here I've added kind of a tunnel underneath my castle and my towers, which I'll... Yeah, I think adding another couple back there would be... would make it look good. Just round it off a little bit, finish it. Round, square, whatever. Finished. Here's what I worked on. Um, an easy access shoot all the way down to ye old deep earth ironworks. So let's have a, a drop in. Easy to get down. Not that easy to get back up, but all good. So the idea here is there's a whole bunch of furnaces. And as I say, please uh, put the, the buckets back and refill them when you're done. But you basically just scoop up the lava, which there should be plenty here left to, to work with, and you stick it in the furnaces, and that's just an endless supply of fuel to burn and cook your things with, and the, the buckets of lava last the longest out of all fuel, so as far as I know. So that's the idea here. Um, yeah, this actually leads to our strip mining tunnels, and it connects with one of another... <laughs> Forge actually a, a furnace um, ironworks that uh, that Stormont has down here. They coincidentally connected together. So that's a cool little coincidence. But that is pretty much it for me, my friends. I will spare you the boredom of going back up the ladder. I believe I mentioned it on uh, one of the previous episodes as well. But I have connected all of our little communities here um, by road by cobblestone, so it's very easy to get from one place to the other. Except for this, I need to work on this part here. This is still kind of treacherous. But with, uh, with due time, all things will come to pass. For now, let's go have a look at what Stormont's up to. I was supposed to bring some apple pie, but I don't uh, have any, so. Maybe I can bring an apple. Do I have time to bring an apple for him? No. No apple. Sorry. I'm bringing nothing. I'll bring you, uh, I don't know, a piece of meat. Yeah, that's what I'll bring him. A steak. Alright. His garden is growing. He's got the, the melons and the, um, the trees. All that good stuff. He's got the cocoa and the pumpkins. And he's even got the uh, enderman which I will quickly take care of for him. Get rid of that. Where'd it go? I don't think he's seen me yet. I see you! But you don't see me. I might have to steal some of this stuff, uh, Stormont, just so you know. Once I'm ready to make my farm, I might come over here and uh, 
borrow a little bit of it. Because you've got all the goods here. Especially the, that cocoa. I need to make some coffee. Jonesin. But yeah, this is a really nice setup. Um, love this place. Looks like he's actually added some furnishings inside. Ooh, a nice carpet. He's added his clock here above the mantle. All his chests. Even an anvil now, which is great. Love it. And, uh... I said it before, I'll say it again, beautiful um, lot selection. The area he chose was uh, very good, very flat, lots of room for expanding. So, I like it, Stormont, keep up the good work. Don't know where that Enderman went, but hopefully he won't uh, harass me on the way home. Yeah, you got some arrows st stuck in your head, bro. See if I can track them down. I need some excitement in these videos. Let's see. There's a spider. I don't really want anything to do with this spider, but I'll go kill him anyway. Bring it on. Bring it. Yeah, it looks like he's gone. Took off. Like a wuss. Come on, Enderman. Bring it on. I dare you. Make my day. That's what I thought. Creeper. Creeper wants some, though. I don't want none of that. I don't want no zombie action, either. Yeah, a mob grinder is also something that's in order. As well as discovering a slime chunk and a slime farm. Because I need me some sticky pistons. I would love to have some of those and start making all kinds of crazy contraptions. But that's pretty much the tour for now, my friends. Um, not a whole lot else to add. I'm not even sure where CNC Kiwi has set himself up, but I'm sure we'll discover him here before long. But otherwise, that's it. This little village of Loud Cloud is sure turning out pretty nice. I gotta hand it to these guys. They they really know how to bring out the creativity. So with that, I will thank you my friends. I will keep working on my castle and also head out uh, to find some goodies. Maybe another little adventure, but if I decide to do an adventure, I will be sure to tag you along. For now, it's gonna be mostly just farming stuff and boring things I don't really want to capture, so. Until next time, my friends, thank you as always for joining me, and take care. Bye-bye.